coming from Chicago, being being a rapper, at one point uh, you had some words about Chief Keef. Oh yeah. And the effect of oh, Chief Keef. Okay. So let me let, let me read this to you. What did I say? Shit. You said uh, we have to be very careful not to let the artist get dumbed down because the artist will be the missionary, the message holder, and the activist. But now people get famous doing something silly on TV and they run with that ball. I'm an artist. I'm not insulting Nene Leaks, but I think more than half of television is reality TV now. I'm friends with Most Deaf. We want to talk about something. Uh, that's what's gone when Tupac is gone. There's nobody who says, Dear Mama, there's nobody with his complexity as an artist. I love Lupe, that's my brother, my Chi Town brother, but he's retiring. And he was retiring before the Chief Keef situation. And that Chief Keef situation is extremely sad. Now they could sell sad. Interscope is selling sad. I don't care what the lyrics say, I don't care for it. Man, whoever said that, that dude talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy said some deep shit. Like, oh man. Um, in his scope was selling sad. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really have nothing to say about Chief Keith, to be honest with you. I, I, you know, I think he's locked up now or something. As he's, we he's out on bail. Oh, he's out on bail. Okay, yeah. And uh, I wish him the best, to be honest with you, man. I, it's tough enough as it is, bro. It's tough being that dude. I don't know what he's been through in his life, but when you're seeing people do stuff, man, you're seeing them come from a place of pain a lot of times. And I'm a little more compassionate for people. I just, I'm very rare to throw somebody under the bus, and um, I just wish Chief Keith the best with his family and stuff because he has some golden opportunities and he don't have them anymore. So I wish him. He the best. still has a lot of opportunities. People still fuck with Chief Keith. Like yeah, he, he still has a real, a real fan base, like a real like cult following. Because if you really think about it, but you gotta have promoters <coughs> who. Well, he's not, he's not on Interscope anymore. He, he's independent. Yeah, who's going to... Listen, if people think the place is going to burn down, how are you going to get shows? If people... You're going to shoot up the club. <laughs> I'm from Chicago. Yeah. I, he got to go to Chicago and do... Can, will he go to Chicago and do a show? Probably not. I don't think he's done a show in What Chicago. about out here with the gangs? And, you think he can go uh, I mean, have he a tours cool around. He, he tours around and does, and does stuff. I don't know um, what the, what's going on with well, that. Well, Chief Keefe really set the stage for musically where Chicago is at right now. Like you're talking about drill music, you talk about gang music, you talk about that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Clearly it's been around for a while, but he, he, when he did it, it set off a whole he did. He chain did. of he events. Did. When you see the Dirks, when you see, you know, um, when you see- I got a lot of respect from The King like Louis, you see a lot of people that may, may have even been doing it before him, but when he did it, it got to such a high level that it created a whole marketplace a scene. for him. Right. Yeah, it created right, a scene. Right, right. You know, and the Chance the Rapper is considered such an anomaly that he's from Chicago, but he's not doing drill. He's not doing drill at all. You well, see what I'm I saying? I think the drill is, 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 no pun intended, but dying, right? Isn't drill well, dead? Well, it's, it's gangster music. It's no matter gangster how you, music. That's like saying, well, trap is dead. Trap's always been around. You know, they just, you know, you could say that's N true. NWA that's true. is trap. You know what I mean? That's true. I never even thought of yeah. that. That is true. That yeah, is true. I, I, I've true. always, you know. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, man. You know, I just, uh, I just wish the music, um, I wish I liked it more. I'm glad the people like it who like it, because I still got what I like, and I can go listen to it, you know what I'm saying? But I wish I liked the stuff more. I wish it wasn't everything grew on me and shit. Now I like it, because, you know, I heard that shit, how many times you gotta hear it? 10,000 times or whatever. I heard it 10 times, now I like it. And I'm kind of sick of that. I remember, you know, you, you had a thirst and a liking for an artist, you went and got it, Rock him or whoever you put that on, and you was like, whoa! And the next artist you got was you and they were different. They intended on being different. They yep. were original. And you got a new oh, and it was inspiring. Now, I sit when I get pick up my daughter, I sit in the car and I'm like, who you think they're gonna have on the radio? We have a we have a who they gonna play now before I turn the radio on? Tell me who's playing. And she'd be like, Jeremiah. <laughs> I love that song. I love those songs. Yeah, but Jeremiah's dope. Jeremiah's super dope. Another yeah. Chicagoan. Another oh, Chicagoan. he is from Chicago. You're right. Yeah. You keep forgetting He's about that. He's super dope. Yeah. And independent. No, uh, is he independent? Well, he was on Def he Jam. He was independent, right? He was messing with 50, I think. He was on, De he was on Def Jam. Oh, he's on Def Jam right now? Might be the case. He was when I originally met him. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. 